and thanks for joining me. I'm Amy Kunkel, Stampin' Up! demonstrator and blogger at crazybeautiful.com. I'm going to start today with an uh, 8.5 by 5.5 piece of cardstock and I'm going to score it at 4 and a quarter and 2 and an eighth. And this is going to allow me to make this card right here you can see how it opens. I'm using pieces from the April Paper Pumpkin Kit and that is the first step in making the card base. The next step is to take one of your cards. These came in your Paper Pumpkin Kit and we're just going to cut it right here along this score line. It ends up being a little bit under four and a half but what I did is I just lined it up on my paper trimmer and just cut through the middle. Okay, then you're going to just grab one of the pieces from your kit, one of the white pieces that came with it. I stamped my dad on um, in Pacific Point and I'm just going to grab the little hay. Go ahead and get that stamping done and then I use the other half here for the inside. I'm just going to kind of smooth down that cut line and stamp on the inside here. I'm going to put thanks. Okay, I'm not quite done with my black so before I go too far I'm going to make the little um, screw heads kind of thing that I use to embellish the front of my card. You're going to just take a scrap piece of smoky slate and if you want you can go ahead and punch them out first or you can stamp first, whatever you prefer. I kind of wanted to um, punch them first and you're just going to use that little X that comes in your paper pumpkin kit. Ink them up with the tuxedo black and stamp right there on the circle. Normally I would stamp first but when you have to punch it out upside down it kind of um, makes the shape go in the wrong direction. So I don't know if that's makes sense at all but I wanted to punch them out from the top down. Okay so this is really the basic um, card design here. If you would like to use dimensionals to pop this up you can do that. You can see my first attempt smeared a little bit. So remember there's always the back of your card if you mess up. So you're going to go ahead and do that. I just used the little dots that came in my kit to add um, the little screw heads on. You're going to want that inside piece directly under the front piece and that will make it sort of hidden and that way you can write your message on the inside and not have it popping out on the front. Put this on first. Now remember you're just going to do half of it that's attached to that flap. Okay, so only adhere half of that piece down so that it opens and shuts like that. And then this piece still has my adhesive on it. I'm going to kind of line up along here and stick it down, kind of using that front as a guide. Okay, so this card was super easy and really once you have that paper pumpkin kit really goes together easily and fun. And I also have this on my blog and all the dimensions and everything that I described to you for putting it together. Okay, I'm going to move on and do one more project here with my paper pumpkin kit. I really did like the these tag pockets that came in my paper pumpkin kit. So I'm going to show you how to do some 
kind of fun creative stamping with them. This is how you put your pocket together. You're going to make sure the adhesive is going towards the inside when you peel it off. And you kind of want to squeeze it down a little bit with your fingernails if you can um, when you're putting it together. Okay, so here's your basic pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a piece and show you how to do the bow, which is really super easy. Obviously, easy is my word of the day. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you don't have to see my mess of a table here. So just go ahead and start curling it using your bone folder, just like your curling ribbon. It just really gets a good start to that um, bow shape. And then you'll take two of the little glue dots and put them on the inside here of the bow. Sorry. I'm working off a camera. You can also just use um, like a wet adhesive and hold them together with a little clothespin, which is honestly how I make these little bows. So when you put it down, you just want to kind of look at it from the front and make sure you don't see much of the white behind. If you get this too far over, you're going to kind of see some of the white. So I just barely, they're not even touching on the back, you can see. And then this piece is going to wrap around and you can curl that as well. Just to kind of give it a good head start there on wrapping around your band or banding around your ribbon here. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep saying ribbon. I mean bow. It looks like ribbon to me. So go ahead and put a glue dot on there and seal that up. I'm just going to take about half of that strip. This is originally designed to wrap all the way around the bottom of my pocket here, but I'm just going to take about half of it and add adhesive. And I wanted mine to go at a diagonal. So I'm just going to bring it up like that and flip it over and trim it off. Really simple, nothing. Um, you can try to tuck it and hide it and whatnot, but it really isn't necessary. You can just trim it off and it will look great. So I'm going to adhere this with a dimensional or you could use a glue dot depending on what you prefer. That's going to go there. I'm going to show you just how to do some fun stamping. I'm going to leave this folded so it will be a card for my mom. And I'm going to use my paper piercing mat and the little mini flower. I'm using my crushed curry ink pad and I just want to create kind of a stamped off look here. So I'm stamping and then I'm just trailing off and stamping until my ink is completely gone. And you could do this in just a pattern in the corner or you could do the entire card. I think I'm just going to stop there and my card is actually going to be turned on the side like this just for something a little different. I'm going to stamp this love you in my Pacific Point here on the corner. I'm going to add this on here with dimensionals and that will tuck inside my pocket here. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to stop over at my blog to see lots of other alternate paper pumpkin ideas and um, a PDF that you can print off for the, with the measurements for this card. Have a great day. Bye.